Here we go. Good uh, evening, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. This is uh, August 18th, GSOC office hour, global one. Um, hello, hello, everybody joining. Um, and let's start. So the first point I wanted to uh, to discuss or or to to raise was that I think now is a good moment that the projects are uh, advancing very well and it was slowly reaching uh, the end of this campaign is that uh, it would be a very good idea that every project would write a blog post uh, on the Jenkins IO community uh, blog uh, to describe in, in short format what the project is about uh, to, to give some explanation about the, the product. This would be a complement uh, to uh, the uh, Jenkins online meetup uh, we had uh, uh, some time ago. Uh, I have some uh, suggestion for uh, the topics. So 500 words, depends how you count them. Uh, this is about uh, a page, a page and a half a maximum. Uh, and uh, the, the Beside describing what the project does, uh, it would be interesting to explain in a couple of words uh, why the project is important for the, the Jenkins community or what it brings to the community. Uh, and another uh, topic idea is why is it or was it important uh, to you as a contributor? So a couple of words, uh, what you learned uh, or what it is, what you're learning right now is we're still busy with that, uh, with the, the projects. The, the purpose of that is um, it's a way to communicate and explain a couple of things uh, to future GSOC candidates, because we, we start to have people interested in the next GSOC uh, campaign, these blogs are uh, useful for them to understand what kind of project have been done, uh, what it is, uh, and uh, how it all works uh, together. Are there questions, clarifications uh, regarding this uh, recommended blog post? Um, yeah, I do. Like, um, should uh, the contributors include the code products as well? Or I didn't catch. I uh, I didn't catch that. Say again. Okay, should the contributors include links to the code products that as well in the blog post? Why not? Why yeah. not? Everything. Okay. Everything that could be useful for the community and uh, the passerby to 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 learn more. So to go deeper, uh, uh, we don't want to scare the people by having uh, uh, three or four pages to wade through to understand what it's talked to. But it's it's always a good idea to have. This is what I want to say, and here are links to further discussions or documentation or to look at the code or things like that. Good point. Okay. For how to proceed, what is the magic required for uh, proposing a blog post uh, on Jenkins.io? Uh, your mentors can uh, can help you with that. There is also the contributing page uh, on the Jenkins IO uh, page or, or repository. 
Other questions or comments? Okay, good. We have uh, two projects uh, being present uh, three. here. Three. Which is third one? Oh, who who she cash? Yeah, I, I, I just joined. <laughs> you just sneaked in, so. <laughs> okay, uh, good evening. Uh, so we'll, so we have three projects and we'll start uh, with uh, Vihan. Vihan, tell us where you're standing, what you, you achieved and um, where are you heading to? So the usual roundup. Yeah. Hi, everyone. So this week, I was able to create a draftable request for the changes that I have proposed last week. And uh, the changes are getting built uh, nicely. So no errors with that. And for the draftable request, you're also planning to add uh, the instructions for the readme. So that I've done today. And um, along with that, we also throw in some tests that would test the new processing layer. Um, and that would basically sum up the entire pull request and then it would be merged. And after that, uh, we plan to add the last feature that would be to get the plugin names from which each parameter of a step is coming. So for example, if we have uh, an SCM, we have something like git SCM. So once the user clicks on that, so now it will be a clickable link, uh, which leads to a new page. So once we click on that, the user should see that, okay, yeah, this parameter, this class is coming from the Git plugin. So we are working around the ways to do that. But other than that, I think as far as our goals are concerned, we are pretty much on our track and we are almost done. Okay, good. Sounds great, Fian. Happy to hear that. Next project is uh, Yiming with uh, his uh, Jenkins file runner action for, for GitHub. Tell us what's happening okay. on your project. So, so recently I worked uh, mostly about my documentations uh, and uh, use for examples. So firstly, I created the documentation demos and the detailed plane and how I, how I will develop with my documentations, uh, which includes user guide and uh, developer guide or something similar. So because we decided to host all the documentations in the uh, GitHub pages, so I need to write a detailed plan and a demo and about how I want to uh, implement it. So secondly, I created several useful examples for the users so they can get started in our actions quickly. So it is that those examples are stored in uh, another demo project. Yeah, uh, that's my work recently. Okay. And uh, no impediments. I think everything is under control. Yeah. Uh, for your, your project. That's very good. Okay. That sounds, sounds good. Thank you for the update, Yiming. Uh, the last one we have on unless somebody else sneaks into the meeting. I'm teasing you, Hoshikash. <laughs> so it's your turn. Tell us, what did you achieve? What you're working on? What is, uh, uh, what is brewing on your site? So this week I walked persisting the maintenance records into an XML file. So after each maintenance task is run on a cache, uh, I store all that data into an XML file on the Jenkins controller. Uh, after persisting uh, the data into an XML file, I also created a table. I also created a table to display the maintenance records. So this table contains pagination, sorting, and also a search functionality. Uh, so that's what I've been, I, you know, I worked the previous week and week. Uh, I'll have to improve the performance of how things are being done because behind this was only a way to connect things and, you know, integrate uh, 
and finish the functionality. But behind the scenes, the performance isn't that great. So I'll have to create, you know, think of a way to improve performance and improve, you know, the overall functionality of this feature. Yeah. Uh, Jumping on on that, uh, Cash, a good advice, uh, and I, I hope you will remember that, is when you're working on something like yes, like that, first implement the feature. Note that the performance is is not uh, as expected, and then only work on improving, fine tuning and eventually refactoring uh, the code to improve performance. Uh, it's it's uh, a pitfall to start while implementing the feature to start immediately working on tricks or thoughts on how to improve uh, performance and speed. Believe my long experience. And, and yeah, you're doing it um... that way. Yeah, this is something I have to consider because I spend the whole two days, you know, just reading about how things, how do I improve performance rather than, you know, completing the functionality. So, yeah, this is something I'll have to, yeah. It's it's about. it's a lesson and you experience that and, and think about, about that tip, but uh, try to do it sequentially. It's, it's a general advice that's very often uh, given people get lost uh, in trying to improve performance while they're still building and they lose oversight. Just a small, a small tip based on my experience. Do you want to add something else, Hoshi Cash? Uh, not, nothing. No, it sounds good too. So I'm very, very happy to hear these, uh, these updates. Well done. Congratulations, uh, everybody. Um, Vihan shared the link to uh, the contributing uh, document of Jenkins.io on how to add a blog post. And uh, I added it to uh, the, the meeting notes uh, here. So the link is available there. Uh, is there another subject, question, comment that somebody would like to discuss or raise? Nothing from my side. Thanks. No? Okay. I done. So let's do the countdown. Three, two, one. No subject. So enjoy your week. Wishing you a lot of progress and a lot of fun. Bye bye, everybody. Then. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye. Thanks, Thank everyone. you. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye.